Bye bye. Bye bye. You have fun, and I'll see you soon. Yeah, see you this afternoon. Morning internet. So it's a beautiful day today, which is awesome. Which way do I want to go? I want to go left here. Sorry. And I am going for a ride. So I um, made a friend recently. He's a biker, and also a new dad, a newer dad than I am. Um, so we decided we'd meet up and take our bikes out. And we couldn't have picked a better weekend, really, so we planned this a good few weeks ago. And the weather's on our side. It's absolutely amazing today. So I've got to go and find him. He lives, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes away from me, so I'm en route there now. And then I think we're just going to hit the coast, go for a nice ride, which will be awesome. So something that has happened is I found yesterday when I was tidying up around the house the little piece of fabric that sort of fits around the chin part of the helmet. Um, I don't know what it's called. I want to call it like a chin curtain, but I'm just probably making this up. But it's like a little like triangular piece of fabric that sort of fills the gap under your chin in the helmet. I, I guess to, um, to stop wind noise and maybe to stop bugs getting inside. So it sort of closes that little gap up. So I found it, and the reason it wasn't in the helmet is it just kept falling out. It wasn't really held in place very securely. So I just gave up. I thought, I'm going to lose this. Let's, let's just pop it, pop it aside. And I thought, no, I'm going to, going, to, going to stick it in the helmet. I'm going to glue it in because that would be useful. Good thinking, I thought. Um, but the only glue I could think to use was some copy decks. And if anyone has used copy decks glue, you know, used to use it at school quite a lot, I remember. It um, really smells. It's really fishy. <laughs> so I've glued that in place jobs are good in, but now my helmet absolutely mings. It's horrible in here. Blech. Hopefully a blast today will cure that. But yeah, it's really stinky. That was a bad idea. Still, maybe a bit less wind noise. It might be better for the for the audio on my um, moto vlogs. Glorious day though. I think it's going to be busy, so the plan was to, to ride out towards the coast be lovely and hopefully we can stop and get an ice cream but I imagine it's going to be busy because of the weather and it's a bank holiday weekend I think everyone's going to be heading to the beach today to the coast angry lady in the car next to me oh, an animated I don't know if I'm angry Mike probably is a picky up, but she is very animated, very loud conversation with the windows open in the car. I wish I could hear, I'd like to know what was being said. I might scrub the tyres in a little bit more today, because I generally commute. I've got really bad chicken strips, I mean my bike is upright nearly all the time. I don't really have many corners, certainly no corners I take at speed on my commute to work. I went out for a ride last weekend, I went to the GOAT, the classic bike show, and I definitely thought, oh, my chicken strips have um, reduced a little bit, I've worn the tyres in a bit more, scrubbed them in. I'm going the right way. I did have a quick scout on Google Maps, so, um, hey, how good is Google Earth, Google Maps? What's a game changer? I love it. I do sometimes um, plug my headphones in and use like my phone sat nav and have a little voice in my ear but on a bike I'd much rather just know roughly where I'm heading and, and kind of freestyle it. Part of the joy of motorcycles really I think is, is not knowing. I have a feeling I might have wanted to go up there, Orchard Bank. Right, I'm sure I've gone wrong. Unless it's a big kind of U road. I just thought I went a bit further along here. I was literally just saying, oh, Google Earth is amazing, Google Maps. Oh, hello. Yes, this is where I want to be, I don't know. On the plus side, there's a Triumph Stag, which is awesome. Nice white stag. Good weather for it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you alright?
So I am on a ride out with my new friend. Having only met briefly before at a wedding, it's just nice having a chat with him. He's um very similar in his um kind of riding style. He's got a 500, so he's got kind of a you know I want to say middle weight or smaller capacity bike really by today's standards. Um, similar kind of performance to mine, so we're we're matched on the bikes. Doesn't like football. <laughs> similar kind of guy. It's awesome. And I'm going to explore some roads I haven't explored before, which is great as well. Lovely sunny day. I'm already getting road kill on my helmet though. It's the only bad thing isn't it? when the sun's out. The bugs are out too. Oh, I hate this stuff. You know, when they don't do a road properly and they just lo leave loads of loose gravel I think they just think oh the cars will roll it down it's horrible it's annoying though why there are obviously different types of tarmac maybe different costs but this is the one I hate when they do a road this way and they just leave this like cat litter kind of on the top of the, the road and just let the cars flatten it down it's awful on a bike absolutely horrible dinosaurs my son says dinosaur in the cutest way. It's one of my favourite words for him to say. Dinosaur, super cute. So James, my new friend I'm following, he's um, a new father, got to meet, super cute. I have got helmet envy though, his helmet's got um, a sun visor, flip down sun visor. Wish I had one of those. I think I'm probably just going to get a tinted visor for the helmet. And I always wear a backpack so I should be able to carry my clear one just in case. I think it's supposed to have a clear one in case you have um, in case you get stopped or if the, it gets overcast and you want to be able to see. 